Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather activity here at Earth. We'll be seeing the eruption threats that are on the sun right now. We'll look at galactic evolution and a better way to trace solar activity over time, not to mention the biological activity and damage potential of space radiation. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find a slight downtick in the flare activity of the previous few days. Sunspot number remains high. We still have several plasma filaments, but you may recall we were waiting to see if the southern eruption ended up hitting Earth and this morning it did. Latest solar wind telemetry here and in just the last few hours the BZ jumped at the same time as a minor density and plasma speed enhancement occurred. That's the weak CME impact glancing blow off the southern eruption and so far it is triggering a low-level geomagnetic storm. We are unlikely to see anything scary developing from this one. But we will continue monitoring the solar wind as the coronal hole stream will be arriving in another 24 to 48 hours. And you can see the bright active region sunspots and the thin dark plasma filaments. Primary watch is to see if the quiet of the last 24 hours continues up there or if the eruptive activity returns. Up first in the articles is a good one on galactic evolution and star formation patterns. They have discovered how different periods of energetic activity within a galaxy actually determine how many stars are being produced at a given time. The less activity that blows gas out of the system, the more stars will be forming. Solid study up next showing a new way to extract solar signals from ice cores for timing purposes and history. This should allow for a more accurate accounting of not only the solar forcing in past periods, but showing where a layer in the ice core represents one season versus one major snowstorm. Last but not least, while we have gone over dozens of studies indicating the space radiation risk for cells and cellular processes, the vast majority of the official focus has still been on just DNA. This preprint aims to put focus on the vast library of information that has been amassed on the other biological risks of space radiation. And of course, this is especially important for the full picture of the science, but also given the weakening of Earth's magnetic field and Earth's greater exposure to that radiation. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out your resource links below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.